Um, that's a really good question. So I love to be with kids. I love to talk to kids. And that's one of the great jobs that you can do as a teacher is you're always with kids, right? And so when I was trying to think about what I wanted to be when I grew up, I either wanted to be a farmer, a minister, that means somebody who works uh, in a church, or a teacher. And I ended up as a teacher. What is the best part of your job? What is the worst part about your job? Okay, so the best part of my job is things like I'm doing right now, when I actually still get to be with kids. And the worst part of my job, or the job I don't like the most part, is all of the paperwork that I have to do. Paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. I would much rather be in classrooms talking to kids. What would you, what do you like to do when you're not at school? So I spend a lot of time in my backyard. Um, I have some deer who actually live in my backyard. And so I spend a lot of time just outside watching the deer. And I spend a lot of time reading for pleasure. Because in my job, I have to read a lot for work. But it's different if you're reading for pleasure, just for fun. What is your favorite color? <laughs> that depends on the day. Because, you know, some days I wake up and I feel like, wow, today feels like an orange day. Or today feels like a red day. But mostly, probably orange or red is the color that I like the most. But when I was littler, green was my favorite color. So it changes. What is your favorite children's book? Why? Ha <laughs> ha! I was hoping you'd ask me this question. So my favorite book is called Mars Needs Mom. Has anybody in the audience read Mars <coughs> Needs Mom? Do you know that book? Oh, Miss R, will you please invite me to come and read this book to your class? But I'm going to tell you something. Mrs. Farley will cry when she reads it. Because it's one of those books that pulls on your heartstrings, but then works out okay. But I still makes, it still makes me cry. <laughs> what a, if you had one million dollars, what would you do? Well, <clears throat> I would actually retire meaning I would stop working as a principal, and then I would do something called being a volunteer. Because when you're a principal and it's your job, it's really important, it's really stressful, but you have a lot of responsibility. And I would love to be able to just visit classrooms like I'm doing right now, and just come and visit and read. I love to read out loud, and I think that's what I would like to do when I'm retired is either work for the library and volunteer and read books out loud for people who can't see, or read for children. Thank you so much for being on, on our show. Join us next time for another interview on the Room 222 Interview Show. And I, is it okay if I add one thing to your show? So I see that you're looking at my nails and you can't take your eyes off them. So I'm just going to show you what I did. So I don't usually paint my nails, but we were having spirit week this week, right? And so I went to a lady who's called a nail artist. And so all the things that are on there are hand painted. All of those little leopard spots are all hand painted. It took her two hours to do it. But what I really wanted was that little yellow dragon right on my nail. And she tried and tried and tried, but that dragon is too complicated. So I have challenged her to see if she can shrink the dragon so it will fit on my nail. <laughs>